y let's quickly get the three values of x first of all let's transfer this to this side of the equation if we do that we have x to the power of 3 plus x squared is equal to 4 divided by 27 all right we need a linear equation so to make this equation linear let's actually multiply through by 27 okay so if we do that we are going to have 27 multiplied by x to the power of 3 plus x squared is equal to 4 okay in exponent form 27 is same thing as 3 to the power of 3 multiplied by x to the power of 3 plus x squared is equal to 4 okay let's go ahead and open this bracket if we do we will have 3 cubed x cubed plus 3 cubed x squared is equal to 4 all right now this is same thing as 3x to the power of 3 plus now this 3 to the power of 3 can be written as 3 multiplied by 3 squared right then x squared is equal to 4 okay now at this point we have 3x to the power of 3 3x to the power of 3 both of them to the power of 3 plus 3 multiplied by this same thing as 3x squared right is equal to 4 now we have 3x we have 3x let's assign an alphabet to e so we say let 3x be equal to y and if that is the case then we will have that y to the power of 3 plus 3y squared is equal to 4 okay now at this point let's transfer this 4 to this side because what we have here is what we just formed a cubic equation so we have y to the power of 3 plus 3y squared minus 4 is equal to 0 now we need two factors of a okay this is a cubic polynomial so let's use um um synthetic division yeah let's use synthetic division to get the quadratic equation that we are going to use to multiply a linear equation to get this back meanwhile i'm going to attach a video that describes how to solve your polynomial any polynomial at all you are going to see different methods of solving a polynomial in that particular video so i'm going to attach that video here so after this you can click on that and watch more on polynomial so at this point i'm going to use synthetic division to bring out the value our quadratic equation but before that let's use try and error and get the first root of this equation now the first root of this equation let's looking at it you can see that one can be used so if we say that y is equal to one that means that y to the power of three which will still give us one plus three times one squared which is three still three minus four is equal to zero because one plus three will give you four and four minus four is zero so that means that y is equal to one that one is a root so we are going to use this one to divide this synthetically to get the quadratic equation so if we do that we are going to have we have we are going to bring out the this thing let's bring out the coefficients of this particular polynomial and the coefficients are one um three we're supposed to have y since it's not there is zero the coefficient is zero right then the constant is minus four then we are going to divide this through by one okay so this is how it goes let me continue from here because i don't want to compress this here so this is what we have one three zero and minus four then one is here we are going to bring down this one one times one will give us one right then you add three plus one is four one times four will give you four then you add 0 plus 4 is 4. 1 times 4 will give you 4. Now minus 4 plus 4 will give you 0. So that means that the quadratic equation we are looking for is 1y squared, that is y squared, plus 4y, 
plus 4 is equal to 0. Therefore, the two factors of this particular equation is what? If y is equal to 1, this implies that y, this plus y crosses to become minus 1, okay? So it means that y minus 1 is equal to 0. So that means that y minus 1 multiplied by y squared plus 4y plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, now we have two values of y here. The first one, I mean three values. The first value is that y minus 1 is equal to 0. And this has two values. y squared plus 4y plus 4 is equal to 0. So for this side, you can say that y is equal to what? Minus 1 will cross to become plus 1. But recall that we are not looking for y, we are looking for x. Okay? Now we say 3x is equal to y. So that means that 3x is equal to 1. So divided by 3, divided by 3. So we can say that what? Our x is equal to 1 over 3. So this is our first value of x. x is equal to <clears throat> 1 over 3. Now, for this side of the equation, we have y squared plus 4y plus 4 is equal to 0. So we need two factors of 4, but when you add them, you get 4 again, all right? The coefficient of y. And those two factors are 2 and 2, okay? Because 2 plus 2 will give us 4, and 2 times 2 will give us plus 4. So we can now write this as y squared plus 2y plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0. Now let's factorize. If we factorize by grouping, for here and here and here, or this and this, y is common. y squared divided by y will give us y. 2y divided by y will give us 2. Okay? Similarly, here, what is common here is 2. 2y divided by 2 is y. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. Is equal to 0. Okay. Now, uh, we can see that what we have outside the bracket is y plus 2. So we have y plus 2, all right, multiplied by, we have y plus 2 also in the bracket. y plus 2 is equal to 0. So this simply means that we are going to get the same result when we expand this, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. But before that, please click on the subscription button and on your notification bell if this is the first time you are coming across this channel. Okay, so we have y plus 2 brackets, y plus 2 y plus 2 multiplied by y plus 2 is equal to 0. So that means that y plus 2 is equal to 0 two times, right? Twice. Now that means that y is equal to this plus 2 we cross to become minus 2. But we are looking for x. Okay? But x is equal to what? Uh, 3x is equal to y. So 3x is equal to y. Now, that means we can write that 3x is equal to minus 2. So, divided by 3, divided by 3. So, we have that our x, our x is equal to minus 2 over 3 to y's. Therefore, the values of x are the first value of x that we got. Our x1 is equal to 1 over 3. Our x2 and x3 is equal to minus 2 over 3. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day and...